Hello Bloggineers, today we're going to unbox, demo, and review Mel Physics. We've done Mel Science and Mel Chemistry before, you can watch those videos by clicking up here. This is Mel Science's new physics slide, and this particular set is called Hydrophobicity. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. And now let's check out the box first. These are all the contents. It looks like there's going to be a total of three experiments. What's this? Oh, here. So over here, there's... Okay, I see what this is. Um, it looks like there's a total of yeah. three instruction pamphlets. Yeah. One for Whatever. each activity. Yep. And one thing I noticed is that the bags, one, two, and three, and three correspond to each of the, um, the pamphlets. So I guess one bag for each mm -hmm. experiment. Um, over here says... Please review the safety manual before beginning the experiment, taking care to review the sections immediately applicable to the experiment you're about to perform. Alright, let's see what else is in here. Is that fire stuff? This looks like a wax candle or something, a piece oh, of yarn. Oh, yeah. There's also a Mel, a Mel Science QR code here. This looks like some plastic tray. Yeah, a plastic tray. Some cups. Okay, cups. Okay. Oh, these are the things that the desserts at Not Scary Farm come in. Okay, these are kind of cool. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, here. Some, um, red coloring. It looks like red food coloring. Yes, probably a red. Oh, yeah, it says red coloring. Uh -huh. Blue this coloring. This blue coloring. Uh -huh. Blue coloring. And this one. Yeah, it's the lid is, is, oh, is it? Oh, graphite. Graphite is oh, what they pencil. use with pencil. Pencil. There are two graphite. That's kind of cool. They have like graphite, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's two. Does it have anything? This is a, oh yeah, this is a squeezer tube. Oh yeah, that's a measuring tube. Actually. Oh, there's actually two of them. There is a paintbrush. Oh, okay. Over here's a hydrophobic powder. Hydro what? Hydrophobic powder. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, here's a scroll. Oh, this is a really nice texture. It's like... This might be like a mat or something to do the experiments on. I'm not sure. Mat. Can you sit properly? Over here are some weird looking stuff with a number of one and two. Those and are cards. Those oh, are yeah. cards. Maybe it's yeah. for a game. I don't know. Who knows? Well, we'll okay. find out later. Oh, wow, this is heavy. This is sand. This is sand. Uh-huh, it's like, it's pretty heavy, too. Let me see. Shouldn't be that. Over here is hydrophobic sand. Well, see, I, I'm not exactly sure what hydrophobic means. That's the theme of this set. I know hydro is water, and I'm not sure what phobic is. We might learn it in a bit, but like, does it mean like phobia, like you're afraid of something, like I'm not sure. So that's our unboxing. We're gonna get some material set up and we'll come back for our first experiment. And we're back. We're all set up for the first experiment, which is Droplet Labyrinth. The difficulty for this is two out of three, the danger is one out of three, and it should take 20 minutes. Safety, perform the experiment on the underway and use protective gloves to avoid staining your hands. Does here are gloves? Your gloves. I think. Oh, two, two. There we go. Step number one out of five. Wear pl protective gloves and use the waterproof underlay to keep your table clean. To open a bottle, push the cap down and turn it. Use a paper clip to pierce the bottle box. Step two. The two pieces of felt in this set have different wetting properties. The rectangle one is hydrophilic, which means it tends to absorb water, and the other is hydrophobic, so water will be repelled from its surface. That's really cool. All right, so first let's do the hydrophilic one. This one's gonna absorb the water. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze the this one. One, two, three, Okay, there we go. 
This is hydrophilic. It absorbs the food coloring, which basically acts like water. Now brother gets to try. Now we're going to use this on the hydrophobic fabric. So I'll do, try the red first. Whoa, that's cool. I to take it. This is the hydrophobic one. This looks really cool. As you can see, whoa, oh my goodness. This can slide around. Okay, I'm not gonna move it. So basically, the food coloring on this one um, is not attracted to the fabric at all, so it's getting repelled. Wow, that's really cool. Step three, the hydrophobic powder's attraction to water molecules is very weak, so drops of water will slide off of it easily. Let's prepare a card with both hydrophobic and hydrophilic areas. Okay, let's take hydrophobic powder and we're gonna coat the card completely. So, After that, the areas of the card that didn't retain the hydrophobic powder will absorb water. Try to lead a single drop from the start to finish by tilting the card. Mm -hmm. Oh, put it in here. So we start at the water drop. Okay. Whoever scores both times. Yes. Yes, you score. No, you don't score. Like you yes. score. Okay. Come on. Nope. Okay. How so score? that's basically the point. Um, once you get it into the finish line, miraculously it stays because it actually absorbs the liquid. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. This is a pretty fun game, actually. There's also a second card you can play with, yeah, which is a bit harder because Let's you have to start, you have to move like around the board. You have to maneuver to avoid these dots. Yeah. Next up is number two. For this experiment, which is called oil spill, the difficulty is one out of three and the danger is one out of three. Use science to fight pollution. Let's go straight into step one. Wear protective gloves and use waterproof underlay, which is this, to keep your table clean. Open the bottles you'll need before starting the experiment. You'll need some vegetable oil, which we have here. Prepare a mixture of vegetable oil and graphite particles. It will physically resemble petroleum in color, consistency, and solubility properties of its components. Okay, so. We have graphite here. This is the thing that they use to make pencil lead. I don't know if it's toxic. Don't smell it. No, I'm smelling this. We're gonna dip it in the vegetable oil. Oh, I wanted to do it. Here we go. Okay, and let's squeeze. Now I'm gonna close the lid. And and we have to we have our petroleum in here. And you have to shake it for 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's nice and tight. Okay, seconds. shake. Two, three. Mm -hmm. And now we have our petroleum. We have our blue food coloring. We're gonna add it to the water. No. You mind okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Petroleum in. Well, it goes to the top. Okay, brother, go do the rest. It explodes. Do the rest. One of them explodes. Pour the whole thing. Pour the whole thing. We're going to take the felt. We take the rectangular felt and we dip it in. Okay? Oh. So, as you can see, it picked up all black. I'm now going to try it with one of these square ones. Yep. All there black. we go. All black. Okay, so with this hydrophobic felt, it's not sucking up any of the ocean, just oil. Okay, there we go. Look, look how much cleaner the ocean is now. It's time for our final experiment. Hydrophobic sand. The difficulty is one out of three, the dangerous one out of three, and it should take 10 minutes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open so with this sand, we're gonna take the water. There we go. As you can see, the sand completely soaks up the water. 
Now, we're gonna try this on the hydrophobic sand. Whoa, oh. it, that's so cool. Oh. The water is just resting on the top. It, it refuses to go into the sand. That is so cool. Okay, so it says to dump the whole jar in. So All right, ready? Oh. Here we go. One layer of, this is the layer of sand. Wow, that's so cool, it sinks to the bottom. Okay, there we go. Whoa, Here. it looks like Look a big rest. clump of poop. Oh my goodness. Is it wet? Whoa. That's so cool. Whoa. Oh my goodness. It's like, but you can see it's like separated from everything else. So we've just done the three Mel physics experiments. My favorite was the third, the one with the hydrophobic sand. Because when, when you took the sand out of the water, the blue sand was like completely dry. And that was like a miracle. So that was so cool for me. My favorite one was probably the second one. The one with the oil? Yes, I did find making petroleum to be very fun. So overall, this was really fun. If you found this interesting, you can purchase it at the link in the description. And that's all. Bye, guys.